Hey everyone, it's Haley. <laughs> Welcome to Mom Life Vermont. This is Shiloh. He's our golden retriever. I'm not sure if I've actually bring, brought you guys along on much of getting new dogs. We actually got Shiloh in the winter. Um, one of our old landlords called Kenny or got a hold of Kenny on Facebook or something and basically was like, hey, I have a golden a friend who needs to get rid of their golden retriever. They don't have the ability to take care of them. Are you willing to rescue him? So we said, yep, and we hopped our butt on up there and we got him and he's been such a good dog. You're a good boy. And the last time Kenzie and I came to the rail trail, I figured out that he was really good on the leash and really good like running so we are here on a running adventure together me and Shiloh now the last time I came out here to go running my goal was to run a mile and I brought Miss Kensley with me and we did go a mile but it was not all running and I doubt that today is going to be all running either but I don't know life is just very interesting I feel like I need to have a chat with you guys just about life and kind of what's been going on not really focusing in on like food or exercise just kind of talking about i feel like i was on a trajectory i felt like i was going someplace and i was on building very good habits with an end goal and that end goal being a half marathon in disney world in february of 2021 and that goal had a lot of steps to it like going to the gym, like steps that I didn't even know were steps, but then became steps. And I just felt like working with my wellness coaches was really getting me someplace. And some of those steps included obviously seeing my wellness coach, Andrew, and my wellness coach, Lindsay, on the regular. And I was going to be running two 5Ks in May, one in St. Albans and one in Waterbury. And with the current state of affairs, currently it's April of 2020, which is the heat of the pandemic I hope and so many things have changed like things have closed I can't get to the gym things are canceled and in some ways I've taken a lot of steps backwards on the journey I mean the last couple of videos have been about me and how much I've been eating and I just need to like get that all in check and I hate to say like today is the day where I make all those changes but Yesterday wasn't that day, and today I just feel really good about possibly having it be the start of something really amazing. I still see the half marathon in 2021 as being something that I can do. I did recently find out that race registrations are completely shut down and I don't think that my race registration was open yet but as things start getting delayed for other races I'm just wondering if dates and registration will be pushed back for that half marathon mind you Kenny and I have not booked anything it is still just a dream to get there in February of 2021 but that was 100% kind of like the goal of the exercise I had been doing like the journey like I feel like I'm a goals person where I need just saying oh I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to become healthier wasn't good enough for me to actually take the steps to do it but to say hey I'm going to run this race in February of 2021 got my butt off the couch in November of 2019 and actually got me started on that path mind you I didn't know that a pandemic was going to hit in the middle of it all but anyway on to today's adventure like I just feel like I've taken a lot of steps back on this journey and I haven't been building the habits that I thought I was going to be building, but I am still trying. I'm trying. And I feel like I often think about these really great things like, hey, let's get up in the morning and go for a run or go for a walk. And then all of a sudden it's nine o'clock at night and I haven't done anything. And based on my understanding of myself over the last couple, there's some birds and the dog's like, birds, birds. Myself, over the last couple of months, I know that my high time, my high, my good time, my high spark time uh, is in the morning. So if I can get out and do what I need to do in the morning, it'll get done. And then I'll have the ability to sit down and relax and do nothing, which is what I do most of the time in the evening and what I enjoy doing. I love just like vegging out. Let's make today good. Let's make today's walk good. And then we're going to make a smoothie. 
and I'm gonna make a Greek salad. I have lots of dreams and I often talk about them and then they don't happen. But if you're interested in me making my smoothie or make, seeing how I make my Greek salads, definitely subscribe to this channel, enjoy my journey. I wanna know if you're on a journey. I always love hearing about everyone's journey down in the comments, so definitely leave it down there. And we're gonna get on this run, walk, adventure. I don't know, how, how far you wanna go there, Shiloh? Oops. How far? Are you ready? Are you ready? We are back. So one of the apps I started to use recently is called Map My Run, Map My Walk, one of the two. And I do that because my Fitbit app, which I had been using, doesn't track my like miles per hour, which is something the treadmill does and something I really like because I like to know how fast I'm going. Because the goal is a 10 minute mile, 5K. Uh, so that walk, which was definitely much more of a walk and me kind of like teaching Shiloh, who's a puppy if you couldn't tell, how to walk on the leash a little bit better. So we ran for a little bit, but most of it was walking. It took us about an hour, a little over an hour to go the two and a half miles, which good, bad, who knows. We had fun though, right? Well, I'm actually, Dad just called, Dad and Kensley just called and asked where we were, and I think we're going to meet them, and I don't know, I guess we're going to go for more of a walk. I'm a little tired now, I was ready for a coffee and a smoothie, but we'll see what happens, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and just follow along on the rest of the journey.